Hi. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. Name's Mary. I'm a student nurse with CBTC, and I'm going to be here giving you your insulin this morning. Okay. Okay. Um, can I just have your name and date of birth, please? Sylvia Vasquez, 1:30, 1966. Excellent. That matches my mar. And do you have any allergies that I should be aware of? No. no okay. Allergies. Perfect. Um, Sylvia, have you eaten yet this morning? No. Good. And we checked Hungry. your. Okay, yes, <laughs> thanks for not eating. And we did check your blood sugar, so we know what that is, and we can go ahead and give our insulin dose as scheduled, um, since your blood sugar was 150 this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, and I did my first two checks of my medication at the Pixis. So now when I go into the room, I'm gonna do my third check, and I'm going to do that um, using the computerized system and the um, scanner. All right, so I would do that. And then once all that checks out, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to give my insulin. When you're giving insulin, um, it is a sub-Q injection. There's several sites that you can choose from. You can choose from the, um, because it's the fatty tissues what sub-Q is. So you can choose from the fatty tissue on the outer side of the arm, which for a lot of patients, it's hard for them to do themselves. Or you can choose, um, if you put your abdomen, cut it in four, you can choose any of the four areas of the abdomen as long as you stay about two inches away from the umbilicus. Um, and you wanna avoid anything that has scar tissue or fatty buildup because the insulin won't absorb. And then also avoid places that are excoriated or bruised because you don't wanna put it in those areas because they're not nice, healthy tissue. The other areas that we can give for an insulin injection um, can also be the, um, the, ladder, the anterior side of the thigh. So, you know, right on the top of the, th the thigh, and you can also refer to your resources for that. Um, when you are giving insulin injections, and you can also educate your patients that the abdomen is probably the best place to give their insulin. It's been shown to absorb much better in those areas. Um, however, if that is unable, if you're not able to do that, then you can go ahead with one of the other areas. The patient should also rotate within one anatomical site um, instead of rotating to different extremities or parts of the body. All right, so I have my insulin. I'm ready to give it. I assess the area I decided, um, and Sylvia agreed that we go ahead and give it in the left um, out, outer um, arm. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands again. The area looks good, so um, there's no bruising or scarring there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. She did get the insulin injection last evening in that same area, so I'm just I'm gonna go in the same area, just rotate a little area around it. All right. Okay, good. So like I said, um, this is the area that we're gonna be taking here. You can kind of pinch it there. So um, I'm just gonna clean her skin just to show you. You would go in a circular motion. Okay and then you'd want that to dry. And then you would also um, want to make sure that you, you, you would pinch the area too. But we're gonna go ahead and use that for training purposes. And we're gonna clean that off. Okay. All right, we'll let that dry. And then you wanna look for your bevel up before you inject, okay? So this is with a needle, not a pen. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna squeeze the area just to get the fat to come up to the surface. Um, and uh, this is normal amount of fat. If they were very thin, um, you might wanna go at a 45, but we're gonna go at a 90 because we've got a lot of fat there, so we, we know we're gonna hit it. All right, so we're gonna go at a, at a 90 degree. We're just gonna put it in. We're gonna let go, and then we're just gonna go ahead and inject at a nice steady rate. We're gonna hold it there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove so that the insulin doesn't drip out, and we're gonna put our safety cap on, and we're gonna go ahead and dispose of it in our sharps container before we do anything else. And we're gonna move our gloves, wash our hands, and we've completed that, so we have to document the site for sure, and the amount, and the dose, and the time, and then make sure that we um, sign that. Okay, so we have your insulin all in, Sylvia. Um, we, I'm gonna step out of the room right now and be back um, probably in the next 45 minutes. Let me know if you um, feel anything different or start developing any new symptoms, but you can go ahead and eat now. Good. All right, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good, good breakfast. Mm -hmm.